Juin Dinawe Maganaduk. This is Kage Gabo. I'm recording this brief tutorial on the prefix nin. So we already know that Minawaya is a word sentence. By itself, it translates to she, he, is well, good. Minwaindam is also a complete sentence. She's glad, he's glad. And Miguechawaindam. She, he is thankful. So, all of this is ween, he or she. If we... Now tonight we're going to look at nin. And this is, nin is by itself, it just means I, me, myself. And if we use this prefix, ni, with a verb, it's going to dramatically change what we're saying and talking about. So in this case, I have the sentence minuaya. By itself, it means he or she is doing fine. However, if I write ni minuaya, ni minuaya, what I'm really saying is I am fine. In this case, I have Min Wendum. He or she is doing fine. He or she is glad. And if I write N Min Wendum, N Min Wendum, I am glad. And it's that easy. It's we have Miguetu Wendum. All I have to do is write N Miguet N Miguetu Wendum. I am thankful. Now this also works with nouns. So often we just learn about this with a verb. I am glad, I am happy, I am thankful. My name is... Here we have mukizen. A shoe, the shoe. Now to say my shoe, again it's this easy. Ne mukizen. Mazina again. The book, a book. Nimazin it again. My book. And even with a family member, we have Mishomas, which by itself doesn't really mean anything. If I put Nimishomas, I have my grandfather. So it's really, really simple to use this. Again, Niba, he or she is sleeping. Niniba, I'm sleeping. Mashkimut, the bag, a bag. Nimashkimut, my bag. Wigwasike, he or she is gathering birch bark. Nimwigwasike, Nimwigwasike. I am gathering birch bark. Makuk. A box, a birch bark container. Nimakuk. My birch bark container. Meet you. Miigwech bizindawiyek.